Okay, here we have example nine. So we really only have this last example here for this for this video. And then we've got the big summary all together, okay? So for this video, they're basically giving us a graph and then they want us to do the translation that's happening to it. So we have to identify what's happening and then we're just basically gonna do that to each of these points and try to make our graph have the same kind of curvatures that this graph has. So here, if I'm doing a minus two outside the basic function, and this is my basic function for this problem, it's actually gonna go down two units. If I am minusing two on the inside, that's actually gonna make it go to the right two units. If I'm adding one on the inside of the basic function, that's gonna make it go left one, but then if I'm adding two on the outside, that's gonna make it go up two. Here, if I'm putting a negative on the inside, it's gonna reflect, but over the y-axis. So whatever is over here, whatever's over here goes over there, and whatever's over here goes over there, okay? Um, that's different from reflecting over the x-axis. Now, let's see. So we're gonna take this coordinates here, which is at negative four, zero, and we're just gonna shift it down two units. So we land here. Then I'm gonna take zero, zero, and I'm gonna shift that down two units. And then I'm gonna take uh, one negative four and shift that down two units and then I'm going to take three and zero and shift that down two units now here I can do the little curve here I can do this um, but this one's got a little hump now notice how high the hump is the hump is only two units and it's pretty symmetrical so I'm going to go here in the middle and go up two units and that's how I know where to draw the little hump Oh, we've got it. Ours looks a little bit smaller because notice these boxes are smaller than those boxes, right? <clears throat> now let's try this one. So now we're going to take negative four zero and go to the right two. Now it's there. Zero zero is going to go to the right two. One negative four is going to go to the right two. And then three zero is gonna go to the right two. So again, we can draw this little curve. We can draw this in the middle here. It should go up two units. So there's a little hump. And there's your graph. I'm horrible at drawing, so I'm trying my best, but you get the idea. In the computer, you get to select from multiple choices, so that's nice. Now let's try again for the last ones. So here we're doing two things. We're going left and up. So here I'm going to go left one unit and then up two units. For the next point, I'm going to go left one unit and up two units. For one and negative four, I'm going left and then one, two, three. Oh no, just two units. And then for three, zero, I'm going to go left and then one, Two. So again, we've got the little curve going on here, little curve going on there, and this can only go up two units. So it's doing this. There we go. Now, last one's reflecting over y axis. So negative four zero goes all the way over here to four zero. Zero zero, when it reflects, it's the same spot. 1 and negative 4 will reflect over here to positive 1. And then 3 and 0 will reflect over here to negative 3. So this one will have a little curve, a little curve, and then the hump can only go up two units. So there we go. Now we've got our curve. But notice it's flipped over the y-axis, right? Okay, now we have our summary. And our summary is going to put everything all together, okay? So if you have plus K on the outside, it goes up. Minus K on the outside, it goes down. Um, plus H, it goes left. Minus H, it goes to the right. If you have a number multiplied in front, it stretches it if the number is bigger than 1, or it shrinks it if the number is less than 1. 
Um, same thing if you have the numbers on the inside, except horizontal stretch is more of like making it stretch this way. And then a horizontal shrink is like if they got shorter uh, horizontally. Then if the negative is on the outside, it reflects across the x-axis. And if the negative is on the inside, it reflects across the y-axis. So these are really good to have um, on your note sheet, um, especially having what's happening inside or outside, right? And then knowing whether it's going up, down, left, right, all of that good stuff. So that is the end of 2.7. So I could have cut that into probably like two 17 minute videos and instead we got a 30 minute video and now a five minute video. My apologies on that. I really didn't keep track of the time on that particular um, video, but I'll do a better job at that in the next um, videos to come.